Hey there folks, welcome back. Today this is a little bit of a follow-up on yesterday's video. I did a video, you know, hey kids, you can't do anything that you want in life because they're lied to constantly. They're lied to constantly by society, by authority figures, by their parents, uh, where they're told, oh, you can achieve anything and oh, you just have to believe and you just have to dream and and it doesn't work like that. All of us adults, we know it doesn't work like that. But most of us still lie to these kids. We still mislead them. And we don't show them alternatives. We don't show them what it takes to achieve an actual dream. How much work it actually is. Or how raw and rough life can be. And we don't teach them that people lie to them either. And that's a big one. Because, you know, kids are dumb. All right, they're not stupid, but they're dumb, and they're dumb because they're inexperienced. But they're not so dumb that they don't know what a hypocrite is, and that all adults, if not most adults, are hypocrites because they're not being honest, even if they don't know what a hypocrite is or can even define the meaning. You get a sense that someone's not being straight with you, like if your parents smoke and kick your ass when they catch you with a cigarette. That's a hypocrite, and the kid knows that they're lying and they're full of crap. So this is kind of sparked by a comment. I'm going to read part of it because it's really long. Uh, here we go. It says, What do you want to tell the kids? You will work all your life at a low-paying job. You mostly hate. You're only one of a few that get married. If you, are only, if you are one of the few that get married at all, you will most probably divorce and live alone. Most of your friends will betray you along the way since they never actually liked you. And at the end, you'll die slowly of cancer or heart problems or whatever. That's life, kids. It sucks. But hey, we're horny. We were horny, no condom around, and here you are. The problem of being more realistic is where do you put the line? Where you put the line, what a realistic expectation of life. It's a little choppy, and I'm going kind of quickly, but you get the idea. I'm just going to jump ahead here and use my own son as an example. I have a son who's 22 years old. He lives on his own, he doesn't ask me for anything. He likes his job. He does not have female problems. He doesn't care what his friends think. He does not drink. He does not smoke. He does not use drugs. He has a pretty good savings. He does not have student debt. And he learned a trade. He, he didn't go to college. That's why there's no student, student debt. He, he went and he learned a trade. He went to Job Corps, actually. He was there for two and a half years. And it was his idea to go to Job Corps. And I would call that successful. He's doing a lot better than I am. Or I would say a lot better than I was at his age. Where I was working crappy jobs. I was trying to get an education. I got tangled up with a uh, female. His own mother, as a matter of fact. Got tangled up with a female that led me into disaster. So he's doing much better than I was at his age. And he, he's happy. He's content. And what does he attribute it to? He attributes it, attributes it to me for being totally honest with him. So one thing he said, Dad, you always shot straight. I always, I, you, you always let me know exactly what to expect. And, and it's, I, I think I've avoided a lot of mistakes because of it. That, yeah, you know, most of your friends are not like on television. Okay? They're not really your friends. And that you don't have to have the most expensive car in the world. You don't have to be popular at all. That there are people in life that want to hurt you. And that often the people that want to hurt you are the ones pretending to try to help. Like the government. <laughs> like the state. That the only way in life is to, to be happy is not by having a master's degree. That that's a huge lie. Hell, you don't have to go to college at all to be happy or successful. That debt is somehow okay. It's okay to owe money all over the place and barely be able to eke by every week or every month and on and on and on. I was always straight with him about all of that stuff. The, you know, right from the very beginning, right when I got custody, when I got custody back from his mother when he was nine and a half years old, and we didn't connect right away and it took a while because I had to deprogram him and that took a, couple, that took a few years. It was hard. But, you know, talking about his friends, yeah, your friend's a lion. You're a kid, do you lie? Most of your friends are lying. Whatever they're telling you, it's not true. Don't trust it, don't believe it. You know, be careful about who your friends are. Few of us have a real friend. You know, it's just stuff like that. And it sounds harsh, 
But man, it made a, a fantastic difference. He's well-rounded, he's happy, uh, and, and that's what you want for your children, isn't it? It says Hershey's. Hershey's. There's no Hershey's in it, but that's what it says. Now, all these things this guy complained about the, in, in his comment that I had just previously read, or fumbled through, <laughs> but that I just previously read, about not having real friends, about having a bad marriage, about having a lousy job, and all this other stuff, all can be attributed to the lies that we tell children to so-called protect them, which is pretty much what I'm complaining about in the previous video. Lying to protect them, lying to mislead them, redirect them, try to protect them from something because we had a bad experience or because that's what we've been taught to do. I mean, stop railroading children into a fantasy world and then leaving them to pick up the pieces in adulthood when they finally put their foot down and say, okay, you know what, this has all been bullshit my entire life. And then they're twice as angry. And why is this happening? Because adults are too cowardly to tell them the truth. Cowards. Or they don't want to be bothered. They don't want to be bothered with the, to deal with them at all because they've never had to. The school raises the kids. The state raises them. Television raises the kid. People have a child, put them in front of the TV, or, uh, or send them off to Head Start. As soon as they can get rid of them, Head Start Daycare. And so that they can pretend to live the dream that they know doesn't work, that was a total lie. But they still try to do it, still trying to keep up with the Joneses, as they used to say. Or they're somehow trying to live through their children by proxy because they're upset about their own failed life. So they think they can push their kids into something and it will somehow give them personal retribution? It doesn't work. And you know it doesn't work because your parents tried to do it and their parents before them. You know, it, it's accelerated in modern times because of the technology that we have now. Everything is faster. But it's not like ignoring your kids is a, is a new concept. Read the Bible. <laughs> they have to, siblings trying to kill each other, parents and children trying to kill each other. Why? Because they didn't know each other. Because it was always someone else's problem. It's a human condition issue that for some reason the majority of human beings have never learned to have children for the right reason. Most children are accidents. It's the truth. And I was honest with him about that, too, because he wasn't expected. We were using birth control. And he was like, because he'd asked me that once. And he says, um, was I planned for? And I was like, no. <laughs> no, you weren't planned for. But that doesn't mean you're not wanted. I'm glad you're here. I couldn't imagine uh, the world without you. And it's just honest. Most, most uh, kids are a complete accident. But that doesn't mean you have to treat them like they're an accident their entire lives. And it doesn't mean you have to lie to them. Now, you don't have to totally crush them and just be evil like uh, Ragnar. If you watched uh, Vikings, there's a scene from Ragnar that I, I'm kind of fond of where the, the, uh, the young boy is just like, But father, I just want for our family to be happy. And he says, Who told you you could be happy? Who lied? Who told you this lie? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you don't have to be totally brutal. You don't have to completely crush them. But you don't have to let them get sidetracked by the lies of the world either. Be straight with them. Be straight with them. Be honest with them for a change. Be honest with yourself. You're free in yourself too. If you're living in this fantasy world, you're free with yourself too. Instead of letting them find out on their own and all the mistakes that they will make because nobody guided them. Telling them what to do and demonstrating it are two different things. Lead by example. Lead by example. It, it, it's, it's not that hard. Try it. You can start with Santa. Oh, is Santa Claus coming? Well, sweetie, there is no Santa Claus. I do that. We just play Santa Claus because it's kind of fun. <laughs> just be honest. It's not hard. And like I said, you not only set your child free, you set yourself free as well. I mean, some of you will get it, some of you won't. Uh, what can I do? All I can do is talk. It's 
coffee talk after all. I mean, if you get where I'm coming from, you know, please do give the video a thumbs up. Easiest way to show your appreciation. I, and I appreciate the thumbs up. I really do. I appreciate the comments. If you got something to say about it, put it in the comment section down below. You know, just, uh, I, I, don't, I don't edit the comments here. So you can say whatever you want. That's how I end up with a lot of really dumb comments. <laughs> but you can say whatever you want. Put it in the comment section down below. Um, if you want to help the channel out, I can use all the help I can get. I would sure appreciate it. There are links for that down below as well. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And what can I say? Stay tuned, folks. And be honest. But stay tuned because there's more to come.